everyone. Welcome to part three of my Shop Goodwill 11.4 pound mystery box of jewelry. Um, this is lunchtime jewelry with Emily from Rodvold Duo. Uh, I am a part-time reseller on eBay and uh, recently I have found that most of my sales are with jewelry so I wanted to focus on it and um, I have been purchasing mystery lots from a few different websites. Um, one is Shop Goodwill. Uh, I also have gotten boxes from American Thrift Supply. Uh, they are, I've also been searching on Salvation Army and Thread Up uh, I, and eBay as well. Um, I did um, get a couple uh, mystery lots through uh, um, eBay, which turned out to be really good. Um, so I do uh, want to continue looking there as well. Um, so uh, without any more um, housekeeping, I want to... Um, dive right in. Um, like I said, this is part three. So um, you could tell the last um, in part two, I barely made a dent. Um, so I'm hoping to get through um, a little bit more today. Um, so let's get going. And of course, um, when anything needs to be tested, I will uh, put it up above um, what it tested to be, um, or any side notes that you may find, um, relevant, I guess. <laughs> okay, so what we have here is a multi-chain, um, uh, necklace choker. Um, it does have, uh, an extender, but you could probably even put another extender on it if you wanted to. It's more like a choker, um, but it's very beautiful. It It's not quite that watery fill, but because, um, because it's the metal, it is, um, feels, kind of smooth. Sorry, I was thrown off. A call was coming in and it said it was going to stop my video and I didn't want to stop. <laughs> um, so um, let's see, maybe I can zoom in and you can really see the um, chains. And then the maker, excuse my nails, I need to go get them done. Um, express. So it is silver toned. Um, I will test it. So, um, silver or not silver. <laughs> All right. And because, um, most of this jewelry is brand name, I will, um, be putting it into my uh, 10 piece brand name jewelry uh, lots. I also offer mystery lots that are one pound, two pound, and five pound. Everything is pre packaged separately. Um, so when you get it, it is um, safe from scratching or um, tangling up. Well, I can't guarantee no tangles because jewelry just does that. Um, but for the most part, uh, everything is in um, pre-packaged bags. So here we have um, these um, plastic faceted 
rhinestones on a silver tone chain um, costume, of course, and then it is double stranded. Uh, it has an extension. Um, it's like a layered, three layered with the black and the smoky and the clear. It is, that's a new mark for me. Uh, it is, let's see what it says on the back. That says Liz Claiborne. I've never seen that um, mark before, um, but now we know that little, it almost reminds me of that, um, the Varnay from like the 80s, 80s or 90s, the Varnay um, brand, like it's a, like a sports brand or something. Um, so let me measure it out for you all. Get my tools out. I got my measuring tape. I want to get a new one. Um, I was watching um, Shady and Y, and hers is a cat, and I love that. Um, so this is a nine and a half at the shortest drop, um, and that is with the extender all the way out. Um, so with out the extender it would be kind of like um just right at the collar and it would be um it would be about a seven and a half drop um the extender itself is um three inches so that seems to be the standard for extend extenders um so, just to keep in mind, so that is a really pretty piece. I really like that. Okay, so something else I wanted to talk about is if you are a YouTuber as well, um, I need some help. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you can see that... Um, all of my videos come up as um, narrow and not like the full screen. And I can't seem to get it to go to the full screen. Um, so if you guys know how to do that on a Samsung, um, I would greatly appreciate the feedback. Um, and I'm sure you guys would too because um, watching it on a... Um, small screen is not very cool. <laughs> so any help would be appreciated. Or if you just know, you may not need to be a YouTuber, but if you know how to get your videos to be full screen, any help would be appreciated. Okay, so this next one is a Talbot's. It's got the toggle clasp. It's this very large, um, pretty heavyweight um, link chain, um, and it's gold tone. It has a drop of, let's see, about eight and a half inches, no extender. Um, I will test it, gold. For gold, um, typically what I've been finding with gold is um, if it's it might be gold plated, it'll show up as ten karat gold. Um, but yeah, so I mean it's got some weight to it, um, so it may even be like um, sterling underneath, which would um, make it what like a vermeil or. For me, I don't, I don't know how to say it, um, but um, so yeah, that's that's really nice, really solid, and there doesn't seem to be much wear on it. I'm gonna turn this 
do, 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 do. so that when I um, measure, you guys can see that and I can lay it down. Okay. So here we got this blue um, turquoise colored um, looks like it is how light um, it is how dyed how light and it's got two different shapes we've got the round shapes and then we've got these um, barrel shapes and then it goes into round and it gets lighter it's kind of like an ombre almost like and then it is also graduated and then it has a tassel nice gold chain tassel and let's see oh and it has an extender doesn't it oh no it doesn't it's just I'm sure you can clasp it anywhere on this chain um, but at its fullest it is pretty long um, I've actually got to take it down lower. It is a loft, and it's at 17 and a half drop, with the um, tassel being three inches. Um, it, um, like I said, it is a loft. Loft. There we go. I'm using my light box, so. <laughs> um, so that's really nice. Um, and then, of course, it has um, these, like, roundish stones. They're kind of, like, weirdly shaped. Like, they're supposed to look like maybe gold-plated pearls or something. Um, so there's that beautiful piece. Now... So I picked up this morning, I went out this morning, and um, it's a Saturday for me, um, and um, mom, you're going to have to wait, I can't take any calls right now. Okay, so um, I went out this morning, um, and I went to a store called Enchantments, and it's for like healing and, and um, like chakras and um, spiritual type um, store. And I picked up um, a book called um, The Crystal Bible. Um, and um, as well as some gemstones so that I can... Um, kind of learn to identify my stones. Um, so this is the book. It's called The Crystal Bible. Um, and um, by Judy Hall. And I haven't really taken a look at it, but it will help me kind of identify the different gemstones and their healing properties, different things like that. Um, so... Um, Hopefully soon I will be able to identify um, what these stones actually are. Um, I also picked up like a buttload of different gemstones so that I can identify them. Um, you know, I've got um, some opalite, um, some agate, some moonstone, um, I believe that's pyrite, uh, don't know what that is, <laughs> see, so, um, I will, um, be able to identify these soon, um, but we will, we will see if that pays off. So, back to why that sparked that little tangent. Um, I've got a multi-layered uh, necklace here with, um, these are plastic, they're warm to the touch. Um, 
they're supposed to mimic stones possibly they've kind of got like a glitter in the inside if you can see that um it's very kind of cool like this one has gold flecks and this one has silver um and this has that crackling look to it and then we've got silver and then um this is like a um raffia raffia um wrapped kind of like how um patio chairs are that material and then it's on um different types of chains we've got the link chain um and maybe a possible curb link um chain we've got this nice huge flower that's um enamel um and it's silver toned and um, it is a New York and Company, so you can see multi layers. And let's see, it looks like the chain probably needs to be um, cleaned up some. Move out of the way. Um, yeah, the chain will have to be cleaned up some. Um, and I'll, I'll probably test it to see if it's silver. Um, and the, the lowest drop, it's about eight inches and it does have an extender, uh, about, ooh, it's kind of a longer extension. Oh no, it's about three inches. Um, and so at the lowest, without the extension, it sits at seven inches. Um, and let's see, let's do the, end. oh, not silver, not silver. <laughs> that um, was very magnetic. Um, so it's very nice um, costume piece. Sorry for the sniffles, guys. For some reason, when I go out in the cold, um, I have the sniffles all day long <laughs> because of it. Um, okay, so this is a choker. <laughs> um, it has somewhat of an extender, very small extender. It is um, Express. Um, and it's that open work, um, very thin, um, piece of metal with a gold tone. Um, it's got the lobster clasp. Sorry, I was off screen for a minute. Um, and then, um, these are kind of, I don't know what that shape is, um, almost looks like a Christmas ornament shape, you know, like the old school uh, 60s and 70s um, baubles. Um, so, like I said, it has a very small extender, and it is very small. Um, oh, look at that. I didn't even see that. This um, octagon, or what is it? One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, my gosh. Come on, I was good at geometry in high school. What is it now? Um, but it has rhinestones, and it's like that pave uh, rhinestones with the one little rhinestone dangle. That's kind of nice. Um, but, um, da, 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 da. oh yeah, five and a half or six inch drop. Um, and the extender is only like an inch. Um, so you may need to add an extender to it. Um, but that's a nice piece. Let's see. It's not magnetic, but it's so thin that it makes me think that it is kind of just probably like an alloy aluminum <laughs> type. I will test it. Gold or not gold. <laughs> okay, so we've got a small 
pearl um, necklace. Let's rub them together. We've got faux, 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 faux pearls. 1928 uh, on this um, hook clasp um, hook and eye clasp is what um, or is that the fish hook the hook and eye I think is the one that has the two holes that look like a pair of eyes is why they call it hook and eye. Um, so maybe this is just a hook clasp. I don't know. Um, vintage though. Those are typically vintage. Uh, gold tone chain. Um, at the longest point, it is seven and a half inches. It is definitely magnetic. So it's just gold tone, but it is nice, dainty. Everybody should have a set of pearls to wear on Sunday morning. Um, okay, so this next one is Ralph Lauren, and it's Lauren Ralph Lauren with a toggle clasp on a silver tone um, link chain um i think this is called an this is the oval link um and it is seven inches um so it looks like something you could probably put a nice little charm on or something um and it is uh, it's got some pull might just um be silver plated um but i will test it and let you know right here. <laughs> okay, moving on. Oh, geez, Louise. Um, these tangles drive me bazonkers. I've got um, that one piece that I showed in my part one that I still can't get untangled. Um, I've tried it a couple times and um, so I just don't know if it's even worth it to untangle it. Um, and then I have three necklaces that are all tangled together and it is, um, ugh, it's a mess. But um, it has some quality piece. It has a, at least one quality piece that I could tell. Um, okay, so we have a silver tone feather. This is very nice. I like it a lot. Um, on this dainty link, oval link chain. It's very long. Has an extender. Three inch extender. Uh, it's an arrow, arrow pastel probably, I think. And it says 1987. And it's got a lobster clasp. And it sits at its shortest point. Okay. At its shortest point, it's going to be 13 inches so let's see if it is okay well it's not magnetic the chain is <laughs> the chain is magnetic but the charm is not so I will um, test I will test the feather right there um. Set aside the pieces that I'm going to test. Well, I guess that's pretty much everything. <laughs> okay, moving on. We've got this uh, black tone chain. This is a 1928 chain or necklace. And then it's got this pink cat's eye 
stone cabochon uh, surrounded by aurora borealis uh, rhinestones around it. That's nice. Nice, um, simple rope chain. And it lays out at uh, eight and mm, eight and three fourths inch. It's almost nine inches. Um, I don't think that, no, it's got full. Okay. We've got gold tone. Okay. That has an S and a C. It's like a sun. looks like a sun on a small uh, Rolo chain or oval link has, um, I don't know if you consider this an extender because it doesn't come off, um, but it has a spot where you can clasp it and it has, um, one of these older lobster clasps. Um, okay. Um, and it measures out at its lowest point at Uh, 12 inches and the mark is either J2J or JZJ JZJ I don't know I'll have to look that up, right? I'll put the, the name right there, if I find it. JZJ, right there. <laughs> and let's see, are we looking at magnet, magnetic, or are we looking at gold? No pull, some pull. Some pull there, but no pull on the. So I will test this for gold. It'll be right there. <laughs> um, okay, we've got a white necklace with this. Um, plastic faceted ball rhinestone bead with smaller ones going all the way up. Not real stones, just plastic on a gold tone chain. Looks like we have the string from a price tag. It's New York and Company. Has these um, green, it's green and clear. That's sweet. And it is, let's see how long it is. It does have an extension. Uh, looks about two inches though. A little bit smaller. And to the Y, it's eight, in eight inches. And then the Y drop is three inches. Let's see. No pull, no magnetic. So I will test it. 
gold or not gold. New York and Company doesn't typically do gold. It's probably, it might be just gold plated, which is like usually like 10 karat gold. Okay, so we have a cute um, kind of collar necklace with these um, black rhinestones, um, maybe onyx. I. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, and then it's on this gunmetal chain. And it is... I can't read that. It is... Something. With a G. Okay, let's look. Let's take a look. Da, 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 da. Get my loop out. Um, oh, I cannot do it at this angle. Um, it says Gwen. So it says Gwen. And again, it's kind of like this bib or collar um, necklace with these black stones. And it's got like this um, kind of banner-like um, design. That's cute. So I don't know who Gwen is. But I will find out and let you know. It's not magnetic, but I don't think it's real silver. I'll let you know. Okay, moving on. Ooh, this one is a long one. This is a beaded necklace. Um, it does have, what, it's White House Black Market, White House Black Market, if you can see that. There you go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, um, and it is beaded, faux pearls. Uh, we got blues, silvers, clears, golds. All the way down, we've got some purple cat's eye. Uh, so we got some more blues. Some, these look almost like a smoky color. Gold, very sparkly. Uh, and that goes all the way down. And it's kind of great, these, uh, Cat's eye ones are um, graduated. And it's long, 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 long. And it has an extender. It's a small extender, probably about two inches. Um, so if I do it singly, okay, if I do it singly, it is, about 26 in 25 inches let's say 25 inches Ooh. so you're looking at a 50 inch strand single strand and it's got lots of sparkles sparkles sparkly sparkly okay oh why does everyone want to call right now? Um, let's see. I will call you back in a minute. <laughs> okay, so we um, have, this is gonna be our last piece because we are on 34 minutes, 35 minutes. It is a gold tone charm. 
um, on this uh, bar link chain. And the maker is, it's a square tag, rectangle tag. Let's see, who is it? Can you guys guess? Can you guess? Well, I did not see that coming. Accents by Hallmark. That's different. Bar link chain, gold pendant at the bottom, and there's pool, so it's not gold, but it is very nice. Pretty much a choker, and it will sit at seven inches, so it'll probably sit right at your collar. Maybe even choker style, you may want to get an extender, because it does not have one. So again, Hallmark Accents by Hallmark. It's very nice, very in good shape. I like it. All right, guys. Uh, it has been a fun one. And I will um, see you on part four. <laughs> um, and have a good day. Bye. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, let me know how I'm doing, and please, if you have any suggestions on how I can make my screen full, I will gladly accept any suggestions you might have. All right, that's it. Thank you. Bye.